Hello Troop 516, this is Mr. Duncan, 4th Mess Not Tiring the Troop. Today we're going to change gears just a little bit. Today we're going to start talking about lashings. There are three lashings that are required before a scout becomes a first class ranked scout. There's the square lashing, the diagonal lashing, and the shear lashing. Today we're going to do the square lashing. Uh, be before I get started though, I want to dedicate the next three videos to a friend of mine his name is Dan Hart. Uh, Dan is, without a doubt, the best lashing tire I ever knew. He, he taught me a lot. And I knew Dan primarily through the buckskin training program and the wood badge program. Both the wood badge and buckskin are adult leadership training programs offered here in the Miami Valley Council. <clears throat> Sadly, we lost Dan this year. Dan died in early January of 2020. He had uh, struggled with Parkinson's disease since I think about 2008. I don't know 100% for sure, but I believe that he, I, I heard that he had died from complications from his Parkinson's disease. But he's a true legend in uh, the Miami Valley Council. He was an assistant scoutmaster with Troop 316. A uh, friend of mine, uh, and absolutely the best lashing expert that I've ever met. So the next three videos are dedicated to Dan. So, today we're going to do the square lashing. And I mentioned earlier on that when we were learning some of the knots that uh, the, the uh, clove hitch was the way that we would start some of our lashings. And the clove hitch is actually the way we're going to start the square lashing. The square lashing is best used when we have sticks that cross at a 90 degree angle. Those are called square angles. Square lashing is best when sticks cross at 90 degrees. And the way we're going to start and end our square lashing is by using a clove hitch. Like before, we start a clove hitch by taking our running end and dropping over a stick, bringing it up the back side, Running it around our thumb, dropping it over again, and bringing it up through that hole. Do you see the clove hitch there? That's the way we start a square lashing. Now once I've got my clove hitch tied onto one of my sticks, I scooch it down to the interface of the two sticks and I rotate it. so that the running end is coming up like that. Now we're going to do three wrappings. Three wrappings. And I'm going to make them as tight as I can make them. And you'll notice that when I start my second time around, I lay my rope beside my first wrap. You see how I'm doing that? Remember, a pretty knot is in almost all cases a properly tied knot. Same applies to lashings. If it's tied pretty, it's going to be secure. All right. That completes my wrappings for a square lashing. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply three frappings with an F, frapping. It's a little unusual word, but it helps tighten up the wrappings. Look what I do. Instead of going around like I was earlier, I just go around the wrappings themselves squeezing them tight, making the wrappings much, much tighter, pulling it all in at every, every opportunity. You see that? Three wrappings and then three frappings. That's good enough. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end my lashing with a clove hitch, once again, I drop it over the, the stick, run it up through the loop, and 
I'm halfway done. And then I drop it over the loop, uh, drop it over the stick again, run it up through the loop. And can you see there? There's a clove hitch. Pull it down tight, scoot it up close. Now, that completes the lashing, but if, if you are tying, for example, a, a monkey bridge or a tower or something like that, and you want to make really, really, really sure that this lashing never comes undone, you can do something called a stopper knot, just a simple stopper knot. So a stopper knot, in this case, is just a simple overhand knot, just one overhand knot loop like that. And then you just run it down to the top of your clove hitch. Then what you could do is clip it right there with a pair of scissors and fuse the end. And that lashing will not come down. The only way to get that loose will be to cut it loose with your, with your knife. So that completes the square lashing. That'll take me a while to untie. Uh, I hope I don't have to cut it loose with my knife, but it, it'll take me a while to untie, so I'm not gonna do it twice like I ordinarily do when I'm demonstrating a new knot. But that completes the, new, uh, uh, the square lashing. Please give it a try. Square lashing is good when you have sticks crossing at a 90 degree angle, known as a square angle. Um, and I guess that's all for today. Have a good evening. We'll see you soon. It's Mr. Duncan, 4th Best Knot Turner Troop. See you next time.